Hello and welcome. I'm Deanna Ziemba, Vice President of Business Development and Marketing at Charles E. Smith Life Communities. We are so thrilled that you've joined us for our new series, Culinary Exploration. We have got a chef for you that you are gonna love. He is going to teach you, show you some amazing recipes, gonna show you how to make them. And then we also have Ann Zarivian. She's our dietitian. She's going to share with you nutritional value, some really great tips and information about each of the recipes. How are you going to get those recipes? We're going to have those on our website. You can stop by here, Ring House, and one of our sales counselors would love to give you a hard copy of it. And we're also going to have them available. We're going to email them to you at the end of the show. If you're anything like me, I would be coming by Ring House because I like to have a hard copy of a recipe, put it in my recipe book, put it in my little file so I can always go back and reference it when I have friends and family coming over or sometimes just maybe a special event with my spouse. I don't want to hold you up any longer because I know what you're really looking forward to is the great cooking show with our amazing chef and our dietitian Ann Zarivian. So I'm gonna have them go ahead and take it away. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Pierre, I'm the executive chef here at Charlie Smith Life Communities. And if you haven't noticed the accent or the name, I am French. Hi Anne Zarabian, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, chef. Would you like to tell the viewer a little bit about you? Yes. Hello everybody, my name is Anzerbia Makum. I'm the Clinical Nutrition Manager here at Charles E. Smith Life Communities. I am from Ghana. And you are? Yeah. So you are one from one continent and from another continent. Yeah. How's that? Shocking. Huh? And now we're both here, <laughs> six feet away from each other in America. Yep, socially Great. distancing. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, so now that you get to know a little bit of Anzerbia and a little bit about me, Let's start with the fun. The fun is about cooking simple meals, easy to execute, and very, very delicious to enjoy. And anybody can do it. So, Anne Ribian, uh, with a senior registered dietitian here at Charlie Smith Life Community, she will actually give us the education of what we need to know about the ingredient and the dishes we are preparing today. All right? So the first dish, it's actually part of our first program of the year. It is called Plan Forward, and it is actually plant-based protein that gives you the creativity to make dishes the way you want it, and with a very simple ingredient, fresh, and of course kosher, and we're gonna go through it, and we're gonna show you the first one, all right? Always safety in mind, your hands are washed, your gloves are on, and let's start the fun. So the first item is actually a spinach, endive, beet, and walnut salad. Very delicious, very simple, quick to make, and of course delicious. So in a bowl, we're gonna mix baby spinach that we already have, and again, you don't have to be in that order. We're also gonna put a few of the Belgium endives. We're gonna add sliced beets, and uh, we're gonna put also toasted walnut. The reason you wanna toast the walnut, it actually brings the oil that actually flavor the walnut itself even more than without it. So we're gonna add some of it in a beautiful green mix. Gently mix it. And I'm gonna show you how to make a very easy dressing. And the dressing is chopped shallots. We're also gonna put some cherry vinegar. We're gonna add a little bit of canola oil, but again, you don't have to put canola oil. If you wanna put olive oil, it's up to you. We're gonna put also some honey. And to give it a nice flavor and a little bit of citrusness to it and a tang, we're gonna add a little bit of the Dijon mustard. Very easy to make, very quick to bring together. And we're gonna just pour some of that dressing that you see it took us no time to make. Mix all the ingredients together. 
and Andorabian. So we have some green. We have baby spinach. We have Belgian endive. We have beets and walnuts. Yum, yum. That is yum, yum. It sounds so, very tasty, and it's very colorful, too. Very true. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about what the green is? I mean, the, the benefits of it, the beets, yeah, the walnut, yeah. the endive? Yeah, yeah. You have a packed bowl right there. That's a superfood all together, multiple superfoods. So spinach, very interesting. It's, not only is it delicious and looks pretty, it's also packed with a lot of nutrition. It's a great source of calcium, a great source of fiber, a great source of iron, vitamin K, the list just goes on and on. And one thing about plant-based um, calcium is that sometimes it's hard for the body to absorb it. So then comes the uh, beets, right? right? Beets are packed with vitamin C. And the vitamin C helps to carry the calcium and the, um, the iron. So your body is able to absorb it better with the vitamin C. So not only do you have a delicious looking meal, it's also very nutritious. And the walnuts, that's your protein right there. So if you want to have it as a meal, you have your walnuts that is good, very uh, high in protein and also high in omega oils. Really good oil, good for your heart, you know, heart health, very important, especially now as everybody's trying to live healthier and better. If you're on a plant-based diet, this is a whole meal for you. You don't even need anything else. You can well, eat it with something else if you would like. But No, I just want to thank you for the education. Yeah. I learned something brand new. So we're going to play this beautiful salad, this walnut, baby spinach, endive, and that beautiful dressing we made, and of course the beets at, at the color. We're going to beautifully play this, very simple again, very quick, and look how beautiful it is. All this color, that beautiful shiny dressing, and this is the salad we made. So from our Plant Forward program, and also good signature dish, the spinach, baby spinach. So there you have it, from our first month of the year Plant Forward program, a beautiful, oh so good salad made of walnuts, baby spinach, beets, and dive with beautiful tangy dressing and voila you know what voila means there you have it <laughs> bon appetit mm. we're gonna move on to the next recipe a little bit more robust for somebody like me who like you know be the meat eater and this recipe is also very simple it's beef tenderloin and we're gonna wrap it with turkey bacon and the way we're going to do that is actually we're going to season the beef tenderloin a little bit with fresh pepper on all sides. We're also going to put a little bit of salt because you really want to have the flavor to enhance the meat. Now we have seasoned our filet mignon, beef tenderloin. We're actually going to take turkey bacon, which is widely available at your grocery store. And of course, the reason we're using turkey bacon it's because of the kosher version of our dish. So we're actually gonna wrap it. Make sure you wrap it where all the, the ends, the two ends meet, and then you're gonna gently secure it with two sticks, just two little pieces. As such, and there you have a beautiful filet mignon. So, and the ribbon, tell us a little bit about uh, this kind of uh, version of the filet mignon. Very interesting. It's a yeah. um, healthier version. Obviously, we're using turkey bacon as opposed to real, um, real bacon. So even if you don't keep kosher, this is a healthier way of cooking because you eliminate all the fat uh, from the uh, bacon. And then you have the turkey. Also, beef always gets a bad rap, you know. People talk about how bad it is for you and all of that. But beef actually is a very great source of vitamin B12, which the body cannot produce. So you actually have to consume it. It's called an essential vitamin because we can't produce it. You have right. to consume it. It's cool. only found in animal products, and beef is a great source. 
is good for keeping your nails, uh, nail cells functioning properly and also creation of red blood cells. We know you need your blood, right? Of course, absolutely. So, so it's very important um, and it's nutritious too. Very high in protein and with the turkey bacon, less fat. It also has less fat. Good. So there you go. Beautiful. There you go. Wait. And the Arabian, I don't know, I mean, you make the dish even more appealing with all your knowledge. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Thank all you, All right, Chef. guys, so moving on, we're going to put some margarine in a hot pan. You want to make sure your pan is actually nice and hot. The reason you want that is because you want to make sure you seal your filet. And the only way to seal the filet to give it that nice browning color is to actually have a pan that is hot and make sure your margarine or the oil, whatever fat you're using, it's actually going to be nice and hot. So as soon as you put your meat in it, it will sear it nicely and really make it very visually appealing the way you want to have it on a plate or the way you want to enjoy it with a nice crust and browning. All right? So let's melt the margarine a little bit more until it becomes pretty translucent. And when it becomes that point, we're going to just going to put the filet in there and sear it on all sides. And we're going to finish the plating. All right? So as you can see, the margarine has now melted and it's starting to be transparent, translucent, and you really want this to really heat up. So you might not see smoke because margarine is not like butter, doesn't smoke up as much, but you can get a feel for it that as it become more transparent, start to bubble, you know that the temperature is right, and then you're gonna place your filet. And when you make this dish, do not turn it too many times. Just make sure you let it sizzle get all the nice color on one side. When you see the edges of the filet getting real nice and brown, flip it one more time. You can also bake it in the oven for people who want more than rare. Rare is usually 125 degrees, but if you want medium rare or more than that, then you would get to a level of 135 or 145, all right? But it's all a matter of preference how you want it cooked. But with good quality meat of such like tenderloin and filet mignon and steak, you really want it to be juicier. The way you have it juicier is actually to keep it at like a medium rare level. You don't want to go really much above that. That would kind of dry it up and doesn't make it as tasty. But it's a matter of personal preference, all right? So we're moving it around a little bit to get all that nice searing even onto one side of the filet. And look at that, beautiful, you see? That's the color you're looking for. That's what you want to do. And at the same time, the bacon really takes no time to cook. So it actually, as it cooks, it actually sears and inflicts the flavor of the bacon inside the meat, which is really, really good. All right. So you want to give it like copper meat on each side. Again, if you want more than medium rare, you can pop it in the oven. Otherwise, this will cook fairly quick. I would say no more than 10 minutes maximum. And you have the rare version, which is around 125 degrees. All right? You also want to cook a little bit the bacon or give it a little bit of a coloring, just like we did to the filet, by, doing, by rolling it sideways into the margarine. I don't have to describe the smell, right? I know you guys cannot see the, or smell it, but it is something really... And the Arabian, can you smell this? <laughs> it's pretty good. I know you're not a meat eater, but come on. Oh, yeah. It and you smells can tell delicious. It's good, it good right? And it looks beautiful. Absolutely. It's really good. And also what I would like to do, if you want something like a little bit more juiciness, you can actually add a little bit of a margarine that we have whipped together with fresh herb and shaped it in a kind of a little cylinder and cut slices of it and placed it right on top of the filet to give it more of a sauce-like look. All right? Now, uh, this salad can be eat other meal, can be eat another meal, as you can see, or for somebody who wants something more copious and something, you know, of a full meal, and of course, remove the toothpicks. You don't want to chew on this, right? And as you can see, the bacon are actually wrapped and well around the, the filet. And this is the finished product, beautiful, Filet mignon tenderloin, pan seared, with a nice dollop of uh, margarine and fresh herb on top to give it a nice sauce look, paired together with a 
beet and, and die salad, or by itself, the salad by itself, or even the filet by itself. And the ribbon, what do you think? It really looks good, Chef. That was very quick, and it looks really delicious. And there you have it, the beautiful salad, also good program, walnut, Belgium and dive, baby spinach with a nice tangy dressing. And the second course is a filet mignon wrapped in turkey bacon, pan seared. Beautiful dish that goes well together, or you can have the salad just by itself. Mm. Bon appetit and merci. Yes. Hi, Chef. It looks like a pretty amazing meal, and it looks like you snuck something a little sweet in there for me. I sure did. But this is part of the program for Plan Forward. And the recipe is on it, very simple. My mother used to make those for us growing up. It's actually blueberried with brown sugar, and then she crusted oatmeal, and she put those warm spices, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and baked it. The smell, the looks, the flavor. Oh, I could eat that for breakfast and dinner. I can imagine, and oh, I'll yes, tell you, it, it smells good. delicious sitting here. Thank you. I'm going to go you ahead and get... Um, started the cooking show was so amazing. Enjoy. I hope everybody out there is really enjoying it. Um, and so now I wish you got to taste like I get to, but ooh, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's. I'm going to start with this salad. And I saw during the show you mentioned the salad could either be a standalone meal or you could combine it like you did for me here. Yeah. If I was doing it as a meal, what other things could I add to it? Yeah, so I mean, if you want to make the salad just as your the only and main meal, you can just add like some cheese, like goat cheese pairs very well with it, or feta cheese. Something like it crumbles, something white, something moist, and really full of flavor that brings in the whole dish together. So cheese is actually a good thing to side with it. That really good. Chef, that is amazing. So I, there's a, a great little vinegar in here. What is that? Yes. It's Actually, it's an emulsion uh, of honey and sherry vinegar, little canola oil, salt and pepper. We put a little bit of shallots in it and fresh herbs. Mix it easily, quickly. Just drizzle it on the salad, and there you have it. Oh, I wish you could all taste. It is absolutely amazing. Now to the main. Let me go ahead and get some steak here. Amazing yes, and different. It's it's another thing, very easy to execute. It's actually, uh, you take a little bit of margarine, you kind of make it soft, and then you chop a little bit of parsley, basil, and rosemary in it. Kind of roll it in wax paper, make it the shape of a sausage, and just slice it like we did here on a filet. And just when the nice filet comes out of the oven or oh. the frying pan, it just smells like a sauce. I can't just have one bite. I have to have two, Chef. This is so amazing. That's the whole purpose. Thank mm. you. Very, very nice. That's so good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So now. My pleasure. Oh, the, the sweet. The I too. must try. Absolutely. So nice and hot, just like my mother made. Oh, wow. you guys, I wish you were here with me and enjoying this. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, Chef. That is amazing. The blueberries are so fresh. Thank you, And they're Diane. good for you, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, you know, the whole thing, and it's so simple and so easy and so quick, and of course, like you just mentioned, delicious. So that's really the purpose of, of the execution of those dishes and even the dessert itself. It takes no time. Anybody can execute it. The chef in the house, and we all have one, can really do this for fun and really make the whole family bring together to the table. That's I, the whole purpose. I enjoyed watching it, but I have to tell you, I am really happy that I have this job because I got to taste it. So one other thing that I do love and that we have here at Charles E. Smith Life Communities is we have this beautiful program, Hydration for Health, infused water. And here's one of them. I can't wait to try this one. It looked beautiful Thank you. in your show. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it great? And look at the color. It's like a beautiful pinkish color. It matches your outfit. It sure does. You did right? that intentionally, didn't you, Chef? Well, you know, you have to put a twist on everything. Absolutely. And it's no more than oranges and fresh cranberries. And we just let it sit in the water, and the water picks up the flavor and the color. It's really enjoyable. It mat everything matches together. I think I heard you say over there, ooh, it's so good, or c'est si bon. C'est si bon. C'est si bon is a translation of French of Oh, so good. Oh, so. Three syllables, meaning three different, two different language. Yeah. This is amazing. I wish you all could taste and smell the amazing, amazing aroma that we're, I'm smelling here right now. And the taste, whoo, amazing. Good. 
Thank you, Chef. Oh, you're quite so, welcome, Diana. We are so happy you joined us today here at Charles E. Smith Life Communities. We are blessed to have an amazing chef Thank who you. cooks amazing food for our recipes. We can't wait to see you in February. Until then, from our house to yours, bon, bon appétit. appétit.